Hello everybody. It's been a while since I uh, <laughs> got around to playing uh, Alice Madness Returns, which is kind of frustrating. But now I'm gonna do it again. I'm trying to remember how I had everything set. Testing, 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 testing. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, yeah, once. Testing, testing. <laughs> okay, then. Filters. Honestly, that's a pretty good ratio, so I guess just. I don't know. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Well, we'll hope that this works, huh? <laughs> so I have about an hour to play this before it's supper time, so. And I have, I do not remember at all where I left off. Oh, that's right. We're going to see the 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 guy who smokes. Caterpillar. And a bunch of Chinese text for some reason. I still I I have no clue why American McGee chose to live in China. Seems a rather odd choice to me. No way I can, I can swim, can I? Hmm. Can I not? I... I think I can make that. so close. I'm not missing out on those teeth, though. Now 
There we go. The author obliterated the distinction between poetry and pessimism. Where? Oh, he was there. Oh, is the caterpillar going to be a boss in this game? Here, pig snout. I do, I really, really appreciate that this game gives you freedom to do things in unintended ways. Because I, I really don't like that in games where they. They arbitrarily block off things or arbitrarily make you. Ha just arbitrarily make you have to do things in one specific way. Like, I like the fact that I've been able to skip platforms and stuff like that. Because, in my mind, that just makes it more fun. It's the same thing in puzzle games. I love it in puzzle games where the mechanics are designed, where it's designed in a specific way. So that's designed in a specific way, so you, uh,. So you can solve it in in an unintended way. Whoever said true art serves neither ornament nor use is ignorant of the aesthetic of the East. My tongue hurts. <laughs> hmm. Blood splatter there. Several blood splatters. We'd have run aground on the ISIS if I hadn't taken an oar. Gosh, I don't know where to put the microphone to make it as out of the way as possible for myself. <laughs> While still being in a good location to pick up my voice.
think I lost a tooth there. Yeah. said was, the fire whooshed in, lit her up like the guy on Cracker Night. No one knows how she survived except Alice, and she's Stoom. Remember? Whatever's going on here. Okay, so I can... Ah. So I can sort of... Oh, I think I killed one of them, actually. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, shoot. Oh, why was I able to attack it then? Hmm. Why did this close? No, I... Mm. So I think you have to hit them like just before they hit you or s something like that. And that fire is floating. Is that important? Or just an oversight? <laughs>
certain smells are one of. You'd never mistake burning human flesh for roasting a lamb chop. Okay. A disturbing thing to say. Saves a single soul, saves the universe. Remember? No. No, I don't remember. Actually, was that from the original game? Because it does sound vaguely familiar. I think I I think I have to Oh, come on. So I th I think I have to strike after he does his Okay, so for that guy, I, ha I kind of have to lock on. Ooh, I hear a pig snout. Okay. And now we once again play the game of which direction am I supposed to go first? Oh! Oh, wow, that is really well hidden. This level does look a touch washed out, but I can't I I can't tell if that's intentional or not. Like it kind of looks like it's supposed to look washed out. Is she the chosen one? Our savior, our benefactor. Mm. 
speak with the elder. Wait, yes, these are. He knows things. He even thinks things. The magnificent, the powerful, the brave, the reckless, the rash, the crazy, the imprudent. Okay. We'll keep just the one lamp, Alice, as a nightlight, but it stays in the upstairs hall and only till you turn twelve. <laughs> okay, okay. That, uh, I, I was trying to jump there, is what was going on. <laughs> I feel like forward is the obvious direction. Oh. Oh, that is a topless statue. Okay. I mean, there's no detail on the anatomy, but still. Another sliding puzzle? Really? Your victories in combat and conundrums suggest your fitness to confront the challenges ahead. Mental strength will confirm your worthiness, or declare your defeat. Sliding puzzle. Ah, uh, yes. To prove your worthiness, you must... First, do the. You, you must first prove your skills in the ancient art of s sliding puzzle. I, I'm not great at improv. <laughs> so is this going to be a thing that like? Now every chapter is going to have a sliding puzzle. A sliding puzzle you cannot do with the D-pad. Which is just... Who thought that was a good idea? I mean, I kind of understand it in, like, uh... Ocarina of Time. I don't know if Ocarina of Time has... but but. Ocarina of Time has menus that would be a lot easier to navigate with a D-pad, but I, I get that in that case, Nintendo just were smoking some illicit drug when they were designing the controller, and so you're locked out of using the D-pad pretty much when you're using the, the joystick. So I get it in that case, why they don't let you use the D-pad in menus, but in this game, not allowing you to use the D-pad in the sliding puzzle, where the joystick is supremely unhelpful? I don't know.
I feel like all of these are right. But how could that be? Oh, so the background picture isn't actually relevant? Okay. So, this one is a, oh my gosh, just let me use the d-pad. It is so bad doing this with the joystick. Okay. I'm sorry, what? I have a limited number of moves? Really? And I have to use the joystick. Okay. Um. Okay. You can save us. I'll open the path. Just like the last one, that was almost insultingly easy, but still, limited number of moves, really. I, I think that's the first time I've seen a sliding puzzle. With a move limit. Like, that's just a really weird combination. She is certainly ill. She imagines odd things, and she has a hero complex, an inherent desire to help others by being able to help herself, and a compulsion to make the world right. She's trying to unlock the true meaning of her life, and she doesn't know who has the key. Hmm. lost track of... I lost my orientation there. Oh, this is moving in that weird, like... box pattern. Wicked wasps lay siege upon us and control the peaks to east and west. You must defeat them to reach Caterpillar's yeah, they, retreat. They are origami. To the mountain top, as it won't come to me. We have faith that Caterpillar, the strange and wondrous, helps those in need. One day we'll have proof. Purity of heart is to will one thing. To approach his sacred eyrie, you must confront the savage daimyos. To prevent our access to his power, I'll open the entrance to the sacred caves where your journey begins. Okay. But no, yeah, these guys, they, they are origami, which I thought was a Japanese thing. Maybe it's both. Oh gosh, that guy on the left looks like the uh, carpenter, was he? From the last level? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so don't look in this direction. Um. <laughs> I don't know if that's like over... A yeah, there's some, like, over-aggressive culling or something going on in this level. Oh. 
Wow. Alice can move, jump, shrink, and use her float as normal. Move carefully to avoid the hazards. I feel like that... ...depiction of domestic harmony and order. The fruitful landscape encouraged industry, tolerance, and cooperation. Loving families flourished, happy children, dear friends, grateful for their well-being, lived for generations, secure, active, free. But a sudden onslaught of alien attacks broke their fragile bodies and nearly crushed their generous spirits. What was that? Anyway, I, I feel like that tutorial at the beginning was completely unnecessary. This is... this is kind of cool, though. I won't lie. Really, I can't... Ah, I was totally in the clear. I didn't know how long I had before the bottom one um, would fire. Definitely something weird going on with the haze filter, though. I I don't know if that's due to the frame rate hack I did. Is there anything down here or no? Okay. I'm just gonna guess that's a death pit. I can go left there. This really is fascinating, though. So wait, which way am... Which way will get me extras, and which way will... progress the level? I think I saw... Yep. Now the question is, is that... Like, is there any point to that... Beyond... Just collecting a single tooth? I do love it when games aren't scared to just break out of their mold. Only 
did the foolish believe suffering is just wages for being different? Hmm, more topless statues. Okay. Why did it change my camera in that direction? with whom I might negotiate a commission. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, of course. Honestly, this is a pretty chill level. Oh, why? about that camera angle. This one's going a lot faster. There we go. Yeah, once you know how those guys work, they aren't that bad.
I'm guessing I'm supposed to go back now. Or go this direction. Okay. Samurai Ink? What? Okay. Oops. Wait, is that actually doing damage? Nice. Well, there there is something going wrong in this level graphically. Um, my gosh. Oof. Okay, that's got to be, like, the intended direction, right? Yep. Yep, because this is a health bar increase challenge. There's no time to waste. There's no time at all. Man, this is a... Is there something wrong with my graphics driver? I'm trying to... I think if I upgrade my graphics driver... I guess I did. Something's not going right. So like since since there was a loading screen there, I'm assuming it's a different level. And so it shouldn't be I don't know.
Also, am I only like one fourth of the way through this level? Or did I just miss the other things? I missed out on some more teeth up there. So I guess I'll want to try and bail before this section is over. And this glitch is actually making this hard. So will that send me back to the top? Dang it. Nope. Okay, now that I did that stutter thing, is it going to be more stable? Because yeah, I, th I think I, I I played the Black Ops Cold War beta since I played this last, didn't I? So it's possible. Oh, you. Okay. There we go. Well, why did my... Was there any point to, to that thing on the right raising?
Hello. This is a dark one. Radcliffe asked me in just the once. Odd duck. Very proud of his artifacts. Ming, I think he said. And partial to Tokugawa Japan. Doesn't seem the samurai type, but perhaps that's why. So wait, is this level Japan themed? Cause I could I could have sworn that those characters floating in the sky in the in the first part was uh, were Chinese characters. The conflagration's point of origin was obvious. First, the library caught fire, and it spread disastrously when the gas line exploded. Hmm. Little. Save my life. I survived because she showed me how to escape. I didn't leave the lamp in the library, and Dinah didn't knock it over. The lamp and Dinah were upstairs when I went to bed. Dinah was in the room with me when the fire started. Hmm. Interesting. Trying to... Uh, what time is it? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call it here, unfortunately. So... Yeah, this is, this is still a great game. I just... A part of... A part of me hopes that the flickering is on my end. Like there's something wrong with my hardware or drivers or something. Uh, because that means that the game's not bugged. <laughs> but another part of me hopes it's the game because I don't want something to be wrong with my system. <laughs> but, um, but no, yeah. Great game. Great game. Anyway, that's it for this stream. <laughs> I need to find a better way to <laughs> pull my to push my monitor back and forth. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it for this stream. Goodbye.